thanks for stopping by my channel today. I want to welcome you if this is your very first time here. If you are returning, welcome back. I'm so glad that you all decided to hit that play button today because I have some more exciting spring decor. Yes, spring, Easter-ish. This time it's going to be spring and Easter-ish. But make sure you go and check out my first spring 2023 DIY. DIYs. It's three of them on there, y'all. Go check it out. I'll make sure I link it in the description box. So, if you're here for the first time, consider joining the family because if you hit the play button for a DIY, that's what I do over here. I am Melinda again, and I am the Crafty Doll. So, if you want to see what I come up with today, I suggest you keep on watching. If you considering joining the family, go ahead and hit that bell as well so you don't miss out on when these videos are loaded up. I have a I have three more for you today. All right. As I stated, they're going to be a little Easterish. You see it in the title. So sit back, relax, uh, take your little notepad so you can make sure you write down these things just in case this brings you some inspiration for your DIYs. You can tweak it a bit. You can do it just the same. Just however or whatever suits your fancy, baby. All right. I'm going to go ahead and jump right into it. Okay, we're going to be working with the little house here first. Yes, I think these are cute. I ended up picking up two of these and I um, shared them in a haul. Uh, and if I can remember what haul that was in, I'll link it in the description box so you can see all the new finds. I'm going to go ahead and link the last at least three um, haul videos because all of them, everything is new finds. All of my hauls lately have been having something new. So I will definitely link the last three in the description box so you can check those videos out. So you can see what's out. Because it may not be in your Dollar Tree, but it may be in your Dollar Tree. So you want to go ahead and enjoy that thrill of the hunt, okay? From the Dollar Tree as well. We're going to be using their pink today. And this is the uh, Rich Art Acrylogy. And this is in the color violet okay and then i have it in white and i'm going to mix it up because i'm going to come up with a beautiful color and i'm going to mix it up right here in this little clear cup right here and we're going to get this little house painted so if you're interested in seeing what this cute little home turns out to be then you keep on watching All right, y'all, look at this cutie right here. Isn't this a little doll right here? Can you see this pickup coming through your town saying, hello, spring? 
that's absolutely cute. What we're going to do is we're going to take this part of this and incorporate this and finish up this DIY. And then we're going to use the other part for later. So what I'm going to do is use my cutting board from the Dollar Tree and my utility knife from the Dollar Tree. And we're going to take the part off that we're going to use to finish up the first one. And then we will save the rest for the in the rest of the video, okay? So keep on watching. All right, so I got some of the letters from the Dollar Tree. You get one of each in the pack. They're the wooden letters, and I haul those as well. So I'm going to link all those videos so you can check them out. You can see the different type of letters that I hauled as well. Mm -hmm. That's right. More than just these. So I painted them um, white. I used the apple barrel from Walmart. I didn't use the white that I used from Dollar Tree to paint these. You know, I had already had these painted. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and glue these right on down. Okay. And keep on watching for this DIY. Keep on watching. Okay, on to our next DIY. We have this nice size Easter egg, y'all. It's a nice size egg. Hippity hoppity Easter's on its way. I think it's pretty. I think it's real pretty. And it would absolutely go with the theme I have already going on to make it a theme, rather. The first DIY, that um, beautiful color there would complement that, but I'm not going to keep it like that. I like to take these signs and turn them into something different. This is absolutely beautiful all by itself. You can keep it like this. You can add to this, but I'm going to create something else with it. And because I don't know if I'm going to keep this or gift this or sell this, I don't know. Just all depends, y'all. But I am getting ready for these vendor events. So, so I like doing things in three. So if someone want to pick something up, normally if I sell it, I really like to sell it as a set. If I can, I push the set, you know, um, like the previous DIY. Don't know if I'm going to keep that or sell that. 
but I like to keep my things as a set, so I try to push the set. So if you're craft and you then try to do that, so that way you can get rid of your projects that you are creating. Hint, hint, that's just a little gem right there I just dropped, okay? <laughs> but nevertheless, uh, I'm going to change this up. So if you want to see how this turns out, just keep on watching. Okay, let's get this DIY finished up. I um, painted it on both sides. Now, this this is the side that was, you know, had the writing and everything on it. But we're going to use the back side. And I just painted that side one time. We have these foam decorations that were was a dollar from Dollar General last Easter. And I ended up getting them for $0.10. Cent. Um, that was a haul from a long time ago from Dollar General. I'll link it in the description box so you can see what type of um, deals that, and steals you can get from the Dollar General. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to use them and we're going to use some of the green from the um, lavender florals from the previous DIY. Okay, we're going to use that and we're also going to use some more Spanish moss, okay? So, keep on watching.
Okay, for our final DIY, we're going to be using one of the artist canvas from the, by the Crafter Square at the Dollar Tree. That's what we're going to use. It's the 11 by 14 inch. And you know, this is a dollar twenty-five, and that's a nice size. I've had it for a long, long time. So I did get this for a dollar. I had this for a while. And we're going to go ahead and use this in our next DIY. And then what we're also going to use is the other part of the first DIY. Yeah, we're going to use the truck now. Okay, I told y'all I had it for later on in the video. So that's what we're going to use. And so keep on watching to see just what we come up with. Okay, so we are going to use three of the tumbling blocks to go ahead and get this finished. And I have some of the lavender florals, but these are not from the lavender florals. These are from the spring florals um, from last year. And they come on an actual different color green. The leaves are more green. These are kind of on the ashy side. You know, the spring, the other ones are more like summer, spring-ish. But um, these are in the Dollar Tree now. The lavender. These are in the Dollar Tree right now. And I'm going to show you the uh, full bunch. That's the full bunch. That's what's in the Dollar Tree now. And what I did was I took some of these from another floral and just added it to it so I can make sure that all of my greenery are, you know, is the same. That's just my preference. You could have just used it, you know, from the other greener, you know, the green um, stems. If you have these already, I'm pretty sure some of you already do if you love working with Dollar Tree florals. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and get this finished. So keep on watching.
All right, all right. Tell me which one is your favorite. I think they all turned out super duper cute. Yes, the little house right here. I really think it is adorable. And what about the egg? The oversized egg. I think it's cute also. Let me know in the comments which one is your favorite. Give me a big old thumbs up. That helps my channel out. And subscribe if this, your, if this is your type of content. And hit the bell as well so you don't miss out. Now this truck, that's my favorite, y'all. Listen, I want to thank you all for stopping by today. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to catch y'all in my next one. God bless you. Bye-bye.